I've known Maya Romanoff and have been using his products for my entire career. We walk into rooms, we expect certain things, but the last thing you expect is a wall of inlaid capish shell or gilded material laid to artist canvas. His surfaces are so unusual and so evocative. It's magical. It's really magical thinking that a material from beads to laser cut wood to thread can go on a wall and completely transform a space. It's always a kind of special thrill to come to them with an idea and then see it transformed into something that exceeds your expectations. Maya and Joyce both push the boundaries in terms of creativity. They have invented new techniques and new ways of bringing walls alive. They have continued to explore new materials in extraordinary ways. The best thing that ever happened to Maya was meeting Joyce. He was this amazing artist, this genius of his craft, yet she found a way to grow the business so that it could be brought to a much larger audience. Just to set the record straight, I did not know my in the 60s, the way he um, looked and the way he uh, behaved, it was totally foreign to me and I probably would have run the other way if I did meet him. I met him in the 80s when he was clothed as a businessman, but still the renegade artist. Inside. What I think has changed the world of interior design is that they've managed to capture the artisanal, the artist, and the handmade with quality, with consistency, and with durability. And for a handmade, artist-made product, that's really quite extraordinary. That's their success. They took artistry and they figured out how to manufacture it. I'm so happy to see good, interesting, creative people be recognized in this way. I think it's really appropriate that the museum honor Joyce and Maya because they are dedicated to extending the art of design into the world. Visionary to me implies someone who's an original and they're wholly original as a couple, as a company. What has excited me and continues to excite me and Maya today is the blend that we're doing with technology and handcraft. Science has given us better glues, uh, better colorations, everything is water-based, and we learned how to use these materials to create a, something innovative that has never been done before. So the pioneering spirit continues in our company.